Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the Boker Yurko and we'll also be looking at a variety of the Ulti clips um, for fixed blades and, and holsters also. So um, the Yurko actually comes with a you, uh, Ulti clip. I always want to say Utila clip, but it's Ulti clip. Um, so that's nice. Um, I don't think they've ever done that before. Um, usually with, with things like this, like the CRKTs come with little, um, belt loop clips like that. Um, but this is the first time I've, I've gotten a, a fixed blade with, that actually came with it. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, the Yurko comes with a G10 scales on there nice brass pins and a brass lanyard loop uh, 440c stainless blade comes in at about uh, three and three eighths i believe inches so not a small knife but it actually uh, carries quite well um, in this in this rig here um, I've, I've been carrying it for a while and and I, I only have one issue with it, um, which is resheathing. Um, when you're going to, like, I usually wear uh, khakis to work or like work pants otherwise, like Dickies or something like that. And so, you know, if this is clipped, if all of this is in the pocket, this is clipped to the hem of the pocket. You don't always see where the end of the sheath is unless you use your other hand and move the cloth and um, you know it's so resheathing can be difficult when it's just this tiny you just got to get it just right to get it in there um, some of the CRKTs do have it uh, coming out like that on each side so it makes it a little easier but even this guy um, I was wearing a few weeks ago and I missed I thought I was in there and I missed it and I went to do that last little shove to, to seat it and poked a hole in my leg so that was unpleasant um, so even even when it's uh, bowed out like that it's not a sure thing and especially with a tip like that um you don't want to you don't want you want to be sure because that will poke a hole in you really easy um there are ways around that with things like this you gotta get yourself a cleaver but even then you can still do a little bit of damage but it, this one is a lot easier to reach you they'll have to have to give them that um so there's a lot of options out there. Um, the Yurko is is my favorite to carry so far, except for that issue. So um, I'm gonna play with it some more. You know, one thing about these Ulti clips is you can you can move them around, so you can bring the the top of the sheath up and down uh, depending on how you're pocket is and how, how you're using it um, I tend to want to have it down further just because I don't want the handle of my knife sticking out of my pocket that much um, I can I can generally get it so that's on the hem and then the the rest of the pocket kind of comes up like this and there's really not much sticking out at all but I can still grab it easy and get it out retention on this year is really nice um, it's not super heavy and so it, it's not going anywhere but um, it's not hard to pull out either so they did they did a good job on this one I think um, they have a much smaller version which I'll do another video on that is not that way at all I, it took a long time I've, I've probably pulled this thing in and out a couple hundred times maybe 
and it's getting better but man this this thing is hard to get out of. I'll, I'll do another video on this little guy um, but that is another another bo boker let's see well, it's hard through the camera there all right um, so these ulti clips they come in this is a most of the ones here you've got this little guy that just has the two or the one slot there that's the 2.2 .2. um you can see how the geez, the spring works on there that'll ease it up stick it on your pants or belt wherever you're doing it push down and that's not going anywhere that is it's quite stiff um you've got the the three plus which are these guys here um they are i think they're probably one of the more versatile ones just because you've got two slots and a hole there to to work with um you know if you're the the knives that you're might be using these on are all different kinds some have slots some have holes um, the configurations are all going to be different so uh, having that versatility is nice um, you got the 3.3 slim which is where did it go ah, it's on this guy so a little bit longer and a little bit skinnier um, one of the many things you're going to have to take into account when you start wearing a fixed blade like in a pocket is this kind of issue where the the clip has to be somewhere and it's generally where the handle is um, unless you have it really far down and really sticking out of your pocket uh, so when I was carrying this one I just got in the habit of grabbing it with my pinky and pulling it out and that actually works pretty well so um, I just went around the whole grabbing the whole thing I grabbed it with my pinky and maybe two fingers if I can pull it out and it's not really a problem um, so it's just another issue to to think about and then the big guy here the XL is this one um, it's much larger and it's it's the only one made to go on a belt so there's a lot more tension on this one and it's made to carry much heart heavier things you can do knives and uh, pistols if you can get that off of there it's, it's, well, it's very new so it's a very stiff clip I haven't really used this one yet so um, but as you can see, a lot more room there to go on a belt, even a duty belt. Um, and then you've got some a tool in there, a little wrench, uh, if you need to use that. Um, so that would be maybe larger knives, larger fixed blades, and then um, holsters. I think I've got Stasantes here that um could possibly be used on but it would take some work since this has kind of the ratcheting system and the tension system set up in there is just so so um getting it to work on a holster is is going to be a lot more than just taking this off and sticking this on uh, there's a lot of spacing issues you're going to have to deal with and then retention issues um, so you, you don't have your gun falling out or you're not being able to get it out when you need it so um, you're gonna have to take that into account if you ever do want to put it on a holster uh, the knives are not so much issues but you will need to take into account um, the hole size here a lot of the aftermarket parts like these um, are not going to fit all, every knife so, here. so 
So these are going to have to go in your holes and CKRTs are, tend to be pretty small. So, you know, this is a very common size for aftermarket uh, screws and it's, you know, that's not going to work. The, the bokers tend to be larger, um, so it works fairly well. But even even within Boker, there's there's going to be um, differences. So you got this little guy. It's one of the Boker Magnums, um, and they got little tiny holes, which I don't think even my smallest one would fit in there. Um, but if you're really committed and wanted to to put one of the ulti clips on there you could drill some holes there you can cant it however you'd like and that would probably work fine um, you can still get your hand in there to get it out so something like that might work for you um, just just one of the many things you got to take into account when you're setting up your your fixed blade um, EDC rig so um, so yeah check out the ulti clips um, and also you know I think this would work for a lot of people uh, this this Yurko is, is really nice you've got I haven't really talked about it that much let me do a quick overview on this it is a very short handle but you know in this case the way it's set up so this is in your pocket like actually in your pocket you, you don't want a huge handle as that's going to just stick out of your pocket even more um, got a nice choil on there to grab onto and I can get three and a half fingers on there and it's it's fat enough and, and rounded enough that it, it's fairly secure that I don't I think that's really going anywhere um, and then that almost three and a half inch blade is as will be plenty for for most EDC tasks um, you know, use a nice drop point hollow grind on there it's it's pretty slicey um, it, it doesn't doesn't get thick until you know that grind stops really and then after that, it's pretty thick, so you're not you're not going to bend this guy. You can see on there that is it's hefty. Um, and it comes in a little under four ounces. Let me see. Yeah, three point seven ounces on this guy, so it's not going to really weigh any more than most of your folding um, knives, pocket knives. So, um, oops. Uh, there we go again. That's, that's my beef with this thing is I might try to heat it up with a heat gun and maybe uh, move that out a little bit. I'm just afraid I'm going to mess up the retention on there and then it, it just wobbles around too much. But so, you know, it is what it is. If you're careful with it, it's it's not a not a problem. Um, but if if you're taking it in and out a lot and, and you're... Um, not your you're not in a position to where you can see that top when you're putting it in eh, you might have a problem so anyway that's that's kind of my take on the ulti clips and this uh yurko here i really like it um although there is some issues so yeah if you've got any questions you leave them below um i'm gonna have more of these up on the channel um, and then in the upcoming weeks, you got this nice little condor here, um, and some more of the CKRTs that um, I'll try out the ulti clips on, and I'll try what comes with them. Try these little belt loop deals, um, and, and let you know how that goes. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave them below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, we're over 60 now, which I, I appreciate it. Um, 
if we ever hit 100, which I hope we do, we'll do some kind of giveaway or something. It'll be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, all right. Y'all have a good day. See ya.